Today, I have a very special announcement. I am here at the Black Hawk Museum, standing in front of the gallery named after Don Williams. Don holds a very special place in the automotive world, but also in Barrett Jackson's history. Don was Tom Barrett's protege. He was one of my mentors, and he had most of the world's great cars go through his hands time and time again. These are his last seven collector cars that Don personally curated. I'll go in and tell you about them one by one. They'll all be selling at Scottsdale 2024 at no reserve. So this is your opportunity of a lifetime. If you knew the kind of quality of the cars that Don was known for, this is a real opportunity. Let's go in and look at them. Well, we're in the main gallery, the Don Williams Gallery here. I am joined by Ryan Murphy, who is also the curator of the Black Hawk Museum to tell us a little bit about the seven fabulous cars we have in here. So this is a one-off bodied by Mayfair of England, the only one that was built. Uh, you have the beautiful design, the sleek look, the sporty, all the louvers on this car, the setback radiator. And this is uh, considered one of the most beautiful 540K is built. I think it's stunning being a German chassis with an English body, right? It is right-hand drive. It has a great history to oh, it right. also. Tell us a little bit about the history. Delivered in London, England, stayed there um, all the way through until the late 50s. Car went to Canada. Um, after that, it came to the U.S. around the late 60s. Father, son, Steve and Richard Mertz had the car. They restored it. Uh, when Richard passed away, his son Stephen kept the car until 1985 um, before selling it to Ralph Ingolstadt, the owner of the Imperial Palace Auto Collection, who had an unbelievable collection of Mercedes at the time, who then they restored the car in 94 to the current condition. And originally the car was black over silver, black as I silver, recall. I've seen right. pictures of it back in the day. Right. Love to talk to Steve a little bit about the history of the car. Oh, absolutely. a lot. And then the car is in several books too, correct? Correct. The Supercharged 8. Right. Jan Mellon. Jan Mellon's book. Right. And it's had a great history after Ralph Engelstadt. Right. Who had the car after that? I went to General Lyon, Bill Lyon, Southern California. Another fabulous collection. Major collector. Owner one of the Royales. Right, right. Fabulous German car collection. Right. Then the car came here and it's been uh, with us here in Blackhawk. And just stunning. I love the, the fold down windshield and it, just the swoopy lines of the car. Now, 540K, this is a supercharged car producing 175 horsepower when it's under full boost. Right. And I'm gonna take the car, drive it a little bit because there's nothing like when you engage the blower on one of these 540Ks. You know, these cars are works of art, as Don called them, rolling art. Right. This is where he had this vision of this black floor in here and the cars reflecting. This car lived in here a long time. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to acquire a 540K Mercedes with one off coach work in a Roadster configuration. This is an opportunity. Next out of the Don Williams collection, this beautiful 1938 Packard 12 Torpedo Cabriolet, which has an interesting history. One, the buyer of it brand new was Jordi Hormel II. Jordi Hormel owned the Wrigley Mansion for many decades, still does. He passed away, but is still in his family. And this car has multiple connections with Arizona. So Tom Barrett owned the car, but Jordy had it customized back in the day. What right. did he do to it, Brian? Well, he took the back end off a Renault and put it, fused it together on you know, the American chassis front end of a Packard, and the rear is from a Kellner. It's a one-off. It's the only one that was built. Um, striking, beautiful car. Um, wild rear. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, that you will we'll see. Cut, cut away and show you right. a little bit of the wild woodwork, the upholstery in it, the aluminum, the inlay, 
It is absolutely a gorgeous car. And it's been through most of the great collectors that have collected cars from the 60s on up. Right. Yeah, after Hormel, I went to J.B. Nethercut and then to William Hara, who had 3,000 cars, I believe, in his collection. He owned the car up until his passing when it sold in 1985. The car went to Tom Monahan, founder of Domino's Pizza, um, and then went to Long Kruger for a restoration back in Arizona. Back in Arizona, Tom Barrett had it right after, and then it was sold to Blackhawk. And the car has been in Blackhawk since the early 90s. Don had the engine redone recently. Correct. correct. It was before we took it to the 2022 Pebble Beach Concorde Elegance, and it did the entire tour. Beautiful running. These are known for being great driving cars. Uh, the workmanship of a Packard was second to none, especially in the American car companies. Their tagline was, ask the man who owns one. Right. Here we have a 1933 Packard 8. This is a coupe roadster, although it has roll-up windows, which typically is a cab, but they call it a roadster. This is a senior winner, right? Yes, for the is. Classic Car Club of America, as you can tell by the badge here. Full classic, great options on the car, dual mounted spares, rumble seat in the rear. It's got the door here for your golf clubs. Golf club right. bags, I think, were a lot smaller back then. They were. They're easier to squeeze in there. Easier to squeeze in there. Tell us a little bit about the car, Brian, as far as the restoration that's been done to it. High-level restoration that was done, I believe, in the 90s. Um, it the, looks like it's just brand it's new. It's been well cared for. Very the gentleman who restored it, and when he sold the car, the gentleman came to his house to buy it, paid for it. The owner asked him, well, how, how are you going to get it home? He said, well, I'm going to drive it. He said, no, I have, there are rocks all outside on the driveway. You're, you're not going to buy this car. You have to tow it. You have to put it in a trailer if you're going to buy this car and take it home. And that's what happened. And the care the, from all the owners, uh, Tom Crook in Seattle, big Packard collector, he owned the car. He's the one who consigned it to Barrett Jackson 2013 when we purchased the car. Yep. And Don bought this out of the salon in 2013. Don had a great eye for cars. This is just absolutely beautiful Packard. Uh, great lines to it, standard body, but absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. And the two-tone red with the pinstriping and the tan interior, it, it's a beautiful car, and it drives just as good as it looks. Another great car from the Don Williams personal collection is a 1940 Cadillac Series 75 town car. This is a... Classy Car Club of America, senior winner. So this has had an extensive restoration done to it. Brian, tell us a little bit more about the car. Well, 1940 Cadillac, only 53 of these were built. And this car was treated to a no expense spared restoration, top to bottom. It probably is the nicest one in existence, I would think. Multiple show winner, um, excellent driving car, plenty of space. Um, you can see by the interior, everything was done on this car. Open the back up, the mohair in it, the jump seats. Gorgeous job restoring the car. Right. Don had a great eye for picking up. He bought restorations a lot of times. He'd look at a car and he'd say, that car's a $300,000 restoration. I'd see him pop up on the block. Oh, right. He'd go at it because he had a great eye for quality restorations. This is coming to our Scottsdale 2024 auction at no reserve, a chance to get one of Don Williams' personal cars. Another great car here coming to you from Don Williams' personal collection. This is a 1920 Packard Twin 6 town car, transformable in the back. The Landelay bar is there. The top lays back. This is a twin six, so basically a V12. Car has been stretched nine inches from a standard. One has 35 inch wheels on it. You know, look at the workmanship. This car is restored 60 years ago and it still looks great today. I was walking around looking at it going, they did a great job restoring this car. It's just incredible the way that it looks today. Um, 
you know, in Scottsdale, somebody's going to get a great car. Well, look at this stunning car. Don loved these cars. I see many, but this of the silver race in freestone and web coachwork. So you've got dual mounted spares on it. For a later car that's very unique, being a 54, the cane work on it. The most interesting part of this car is it has a disappearing dual cowl phaeton that fits back here and a completely disappearing top. Very cool, gives you multiple cars in one car. Just look at the, how stunning this car looks. Don loved the lines of these cars. This was built for an American playwright, C. Elvis Davis right. of New York. It was it had to be quite a statement driving around New York City in a car like this. The interior in it, the woodwork in it, it is truly spectacular. So as I said, it has a disappearing dual cowl phaeton piece to it. So we have folded it back, put the windshield up. Now this will also fold down if you want the windshield forward. It has a lever that locks it into the sides. Quite a piece of work. And then there's other levers back here to flip the disappearing cover to the top. Very cool. The workmanship on this is spectacular and they thought out everything. The picnic table still come down at the dual cowl phantom set up, so you're ready to have lunch and go for a drive. Another beautiful car, and one of my favorite marks, a Bugatti. 1936 Type 57 Stelvio. So this car has got a great history to it. The car was updated back in the era. The headlights and the pedestal headlights were brought in like a later car. The bumpers were updated on the car. So it has some updates to it and it has hydraulic brakes on it. Now something that were added to the production Bugattis a couple years later. But what I like about it also, look at, we popped the windshield forward so you can get air the windshield will also lay down i love how the top disappears on it the spats were added taken off added again throughout its history tell us a little bit about the history and the historians that have gone over the car brian oh yeah no this car is fully documented from day one with factory records it was an auto show car in 1936 stayed in france up until the 60s before it came to the united states purchased by Alec Ullman, the founder of 12 Hours of Sebring, um, kept in his collection until the mid to late 80s, and then it joined the Blackhawk collection where it went, had a complete body off restoration, uh, which still shows incredible today. And you've had a historian go through the entire road. Right. Yeah, Keyes Johnson. It has a matching numbers engine. The transmission is not though, but it is out of a supercharged Stelvio. Correct. So. Everything is done, and a lot of it was done back when the car was just a couple of years old. Had right. the updates done to it. Absolutely gorgeous car, great restoration. Another one of these great cars coming out of Don Williams' personal collection. Absolutely gorgeous car. Has had it an awful long time, and he loved this car. Best part, it is coming to Scottsdale at no reserve, part of our salon collection. January 20th through the 28th. You want a car like this? Register to bid now. Be there at the auction with your hand in the air. You can drive home in a beautiful Bugatti. So as you can see, Don Williams, he put together this fantastic museum as his slogan, Proveyors of Rolling Art. And that's what these cars are. Don had a great eye. He bought the best cars. He had them restored. He showed cars at Pebble Beach for over 50 years. One of our founders, my mentor in understanding just the quality of some of the world's greatest classic cars. These cars will roll across the block Saturday, the 27th, part of the salon. This is the last of Don Williams' personal collection going up for sale at no reserve. 
This is an opportunity. See you there.